talk about Steam games. Uh, I bought a lot of Steam games recently, a lot of good indie games are on there. And I definitely will do a lot more gameplay videos soon. If people see my YouTube, they know that I'm a big fan of StarCraft 2, Magic Online, Hearthstone, NBA 2K, uh, all these multiplayer games. And I also play Diablo 3 a lot with my friends and Dungeon Defenders, which was a Steam game. I play that a lot with my friends as well. So someday I hope to post some gameplay on these games as well as some other like more obscure titles, DOS titles or something. Uh, I also like this new game called Toxic and it just it came out not that long ago. I got it on Steam. It's about bringing back old school FPS action like Unreal Tournament, Quick 3, Arena type FPS fragging and uh, that is definitely awesome. I love I love uh, old school first person shooters. I love the, the weapons. Um, I love the futuristic settings, all the cool maps, the deathmatch, the onslaught, vehicle manslaughter, um, health packs, you know, all these things. I don't like the new first-person sh shooters these days, like that too military style, too realistic. I don't like that. So definitely cool. Please support it. And um, mobile games, I played recently, Monument Valley, great game. I think ranks up there with The Unfinished Swan and Journey as the most vi visually... Uh, beautiful games I've ever played. If you play those games, it's just fantastic. It's like, it's like artwork basically. And uh, no other news, uh, getting away from te technology a bit uh, about movies. I watched Kingsman a few days ago. Uh, pretty good movie. Uh, more violent than I expected, but overall pretty good. Uh, my favorite movies last year were Guardians of Galaxy, which was, in my opinion, one of the best Marvel movies made. Interstellar, which was about on par with Inception, or a little bit lower, but pretty good movie. Uh, Big Hero 6, which was one of my favorite Disney movies. Um, better than Frozen, in my opinion, and better than a lot of other Disney movies on par with Pixar movies. And I hope Avengers 2 um, is going to be as good as Avengers 1. And I know that in other news, Spider-Man is coming to Marvel. Yes, because Sony finally made a deal with with Marvel to get Spider-Man into the Avengers. So I'm really excited for that. I hope that uh, Spider-Man, I can see him with the Avengers fighting alongside Captain America and Iron Man and Hulk and Thor. And um, I'm excited for that. And hopefully there'll be better Spider-Man movies too. <laughs> too Better than The Amazing Spider-Man 2, which wasn't that well received. Um, I don't think Andrew Garfield is going to play the new Spider-Man though. Uh, which is a little bit sad. Uh, another news talking about uh, sports, the NBA uh, Finals. Uh, as many of you who read my blog knows, I'm pretty into NBA, um, into basketball, into NBA. And um, you know, my favorite team right now, Golden State Warriors, because they're doing so well. Um, used to be an LA Lakers fan, but you know these days they're not doing so well. And um, unfortunately, I don't think they're going to get better very fast. Uh, anyways, for this season, I think the MVP should be James Harden. Guy's averaging 27, 6, and 7. I think he should be MVP. He's basically the Rockets are nothing without him. Um, they don't have Dwight Howard, and it's basically James Harden is carrying that team. I know that Russell Westbrook puts up better numbers and also uh, is also basically the, the backbone of that team, but his record isn't as good as the Rockets, and for that reason, James Harden should be MVP. Uh, Stephen Curry has a lot of help, and he also has a good coach. Steve Curry is a good coach, so I wouldn't put him first, though. So Stephen Curry is a great player, but I wouldn't put him at the top. Anthony Davis or LeBron James in a vacuum would be the MVP, but uh, unfortunately, MVPs are not voted in a vacuum. Otherwise, uh, Jordan would have won eight straight MVP titles. MVPs are voted in a context, and in this context, in the story, uh, I guess Harden is still the best. Um, also, many of you who read my blog know that I'm not a fan of Kobe. I'm glad he's out uh, because I think Kobe is very overrated and inefficient and a selfish player. And the fact that he takes a lot of his team shots, he was incredibly inefficient at it. And um, he doesn't trust his teammates. He doesn't have the same team trusting ability and he doesn't build up his teammates uh, or be a leader in the same way that Magic or Kareem could do for the Lakers, right? Uh, he's not that same type of leader that Magic is. And that's why people should stop comparing Kobe to the greats because Kobe is far below, no, well, not too far below, but he's still much below Magic and Larry Bird and Jordan and even LeBron, I think, and Tim Duncan, definitely. 
and I don't think people should be comparing them. I think Kobe is a top 10 player, but he is not a top 5 player. Um, I would put him in the lower, maybe rank number 9 or 10, and I have a hard time even putting him above Jerry West, because at least Jerry West brought the Lakers to many finals, and Jerry West was a great leader. He learned to become more of an, uh, a facilitator later in his career, and Kobe, not so much. Uh, Kobe's highest assist average has been like, what, six? Uh, six like, average 6.5 or whatever, that's his highest assist average. I mean, Jerry West, he was making seven or eight assists per game in later in his career. He trans he basically changed up his game, and Kobe did not. So, um, yeah, that's my opinions about that. And as for the NBA Finals, my um, it's kind of hard to say right now, but in the West, probably I'm betting on Golden State Warriors and Memphis Grizzlies um, because I think that a team with no superstars would be a good showing in the Finals. And like the San Antonio Spurs last year uh, versus the Atlanta Hawks um, this uh, in the East because I think the Atlanta Hawks are kind of like that team where Kind of like the Zero Four Pistons, where or the or even the Eleven Mavericks, the two thousand Eleven Mavericks, where they don't really have a superstar, they just have a bunch of good role players, and to me that's the best kind of team. You have you don't have anyone who has a big ego, whereas the uh, the Cavaliers who, who can make the finals as well, um, they obviously have LeBron, Irving, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Love, right? They have all those superstars like the big three in Miami. I don't think that's good for the game to have. Um, to have the the concept that if you have a lot of superstars, you need superstars to win a championship. No, you don't. You just need to have a good team. Uh, the 2008 Celtics, yes, they had a lot of superstars, but they also played as a team. The same with the Heat. They have a lot of superstars and they played as a team. But when you have a lot of superstars that don't play as a team, like the 0-4 Lakers, for example, then you lose to a team that does play as a team but doesn't have as many superstars like the 0-4 Pistons. Um, and that's my opinion on that. And in other news, um, I am still waiting for the release of some video games, uh, PC games, Fallout 4, StarCraft 2, Legacy of the Void, I hope comes out soon, Rock Band 4, uh, Yakuza 5, um, which was, Yakuza 4 was one of my favorite games ever, and I hope they made Yakuza 5 uh, in English soon, I hope that comes out soon. Uh, Rock Band 4, I'm really excited for that because I used to play Rock Band a lot back in the day, back in my university days with my friends. Uh, Fallout 3 was one of my favorite games of all time. I hope Fallout 4 comes out soon and Just Cause 3 because Just Cause 2 was also amazing. So uh, yes, get on get on these games people, I, I need to have my Fallout fix. <laughs> yep, and uh, that is it. So that's my current commentary on the current trends these days and um, sorry for not doing a video log sooner but yeah this is the first video log of 2015 and the first time in like I don't know over a year <laughs> and yeah please uh, leave me any comments if you have any uh, questions or comments about what I talked about and yeah thanks for watching